Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to a little bit of Surviving Mars. This is going to be our last episode of this particular bit, but we will be continuing along with this game for another look at a different kind of playthrough, and one of them is going to include the sort of preference that I have, the, the preferred thing. I'm going to just hit this here for the hell of it, but um, I'm going to try and communicate with this thing. Um, but yeah, like what we're trying to do here is try and figure out exactly... Uh, what we're going to be doing at the sort of day 100 and at that point in time like once you've gotten to there you either are going to want to continue going or you're going to want to just start over again depends on sort of what you're up to what you wanted to do um, in many cases you're going to want to continue with your quest line I don't know enough about this quest line in particular to sort of really give you any sort of great oh, yeah, I forgot about that stupid change um, I don't know necessarily enough about each of the individual quest lines I have not done quite that many playthroughs um, I'm not sure I ever will do that many playthroughs and, and focus on the sort of story mode for each of them, but um, the other thing that you're going to focus on at this point in time is really focusing on the um, getting your different domes uh, up and running to create like the sort of city that you want and to create all of the little uh, wonders that the game has. So uh, if we take a look at our tech tree here, we've got access to Project Mohole. Uh, Mohole is coming in there. After that, we could take interplanetary astronomy, perhaps use all the resources that we get from Project Mohole to get um, the uh, microfusion up there, and then have the large scale excavation. Just, just have all of those, um, and just broadly speaking, go for whatever it is you want to have. Build sort of your ideal uh, sort of dome uh, scape or or city, or focus it on transition into doing whatever style of game you want to play, uh, essentially speaking. We still have all these damn colonists who are unemployed here. I'm kind of just irritated. It looks like they're starting to go off to where they need to need to go, but um, yeah, like there's not a ton necessarily to this game other than you know, it's it's like SimCity. Realistically speaking, there isn't much to do in SimCity if what you're looking to do is not create the best city that you sort of can. Unfortunately, just like with, with a real-life sort of Mars colony, the tools to create that in this situation are a little bit more limited than maybe I would like them to be, but they're not that bad. You can create a fairly interesting city of these little, little uh, sort of domes all over the place there, or even the mega domes if you want to get into that sort of stuff there. Um, but broadly speaking... Um, tell us the sphere oh, spear charges a bit. I kind of hope it stays quiet. Yeah. Radio. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Either way, um, but yeah, like, you just sort of do your story mode, you do whatever it is that you really want to do, um, but there's nothing, like, super, super pressing that you have to be doing in this game. It's sort of freeform yeah, it's up to you how you want to play it. And, uh, here we can see, like, we've reached day, uh, 100. We've gotten our, uh, assessment, and we've got our final score. So, 6,270, that's not that high, really, but I wasn't really going for a score victory. Just to sort of show you the ins and out of the game here. Um, so, yeah, we, we've made it to our final assessment here, and there's not, like, a ton that happens as a result of that, because, like, it's just a an arbitrary day. It's like the Earth saying, congratulations, you, you didn't die in 100 days. Um, good job. And, you know, that that is a pretty good achievement, all in all, in, in its own sort of way there, but... It's nothing like super, super impressive or anything like that. So the fact that that's something that we've done and the fact that that's what we're doing um, is going to be, you know, it's not the end state of the game. It's not what is going to stop your playthrough under normal circumstances. It's going to be that point where you sort of transition from there and decide what it is that you want to do to make the game more unique for yourself. And for that, I can't really help you. Um, like, yes, there are the um, gigantic projects here, the Project Mohole that is coming up pretty quickly here. There's the other wonders that I'm researching. There's other texts to research. There's maybe is uh, there's going to be three more uh, breakthrough texts that I'll be able to find once I've gotten that particular wonder up. There's lots of little things that you can continue doing, but they're nothing that I need to help you with in terms of guidance. Um, like, everything is fairly self-explanatory in terms of what you're aiming for here. Project Molehole gives you an unlimited amount of metal, rare metal, and waste rock. It doesn't mean that you have an unlimited amount to work with at any given time, it simply means it will continue extracting those resources indefinitely. Same thing for the large-scale excavation, which cre creates concrete instead, although this also creates concrete once you've researched uh, waste rock or liquefaction, as do all of your other uh, extractors, so you will have other sources of concrete in addition to this thing, so that's not really too huge a deal. Interplanetary Astronomy, this is going to give you a humongous boost to uh, technology. 
Obviously, it's not going to be that important once you reach the stage of the game, because what are you going to do with more technology? The really important thing, though, is it does give you a bunch of extra breakthrough technologies. I've seen typically it's three, um, but, you know, whatever that ends up being there. And then there's the microfusion generator. It's just a gigantic generator that consumes a huge amount of, uh, or, or consumes a huge amount of water before it starts up, and then it kicks in, you've got a huge amount of water. Um, you know, those are going to be sort of your goals. There's nothing really that I can do to help you with those because all you do is you sort of pool together the resources, you build the thing, and that's basically it. There's, yeah, like, like I said, there's nothing to it. There's nothing really complex or, or too difficult about that sort of, sort of style of thing. But um, yeah, that's going to be this particular uh, playthrough. I'm going to show you guys how to do, in my opinion, a, a better score uh, attack there. Um, if that's sort of the thing that you want to do, if you want to challenge yourself and try and get a high score there, uh, there are a couple of interesting ways that you can go about it, and there's sort of more, uh, you know, there's more and less interesting ways to go about it, but uh, we'll do that, and then we'll try maybe a SimCity playthrough as well. So, in any event, I hope you found this uh, episode enjoyable. As you can see, these are sort of the criteria that we get here. Our difficulty bonus was only 185 times of the multiplier. And our current score, it says, is 30,860, uh, whatever, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, you realistically aren't going to be getting um, a Megadome or a Wonder done if you're playing a sort of normal paced game without doing anything too crazy. You can definitely get a Megadome and you can definitely get a Wonder, but I wouldn't advise it because you sort of end up with a colony that's not really properly stable if you're doing it in that sort of process in that sort of order. Um, I would definitely recommend playing it more the way that I've sort of gone about it here, where you're trying to sort of gradually and steadily grow, unless you're explicitly going for that style of just having um, a ri ridiculously high score for whatever the hell reason. So anyway, uh, that's going to be our episode for right now. I hope you found this one enjoyable. And of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.